Excellent. My name is Abby Taylor. Today is October 19th, and today I'll be demonstrating how to perform basic life support in a canine patient model. So, we're not breathing. I'm going to start by assessing my patient. There's no heartbeat. I'm going to start chest compressions, 100 to 120 beats per minute. I'm keeping my elbows locked, allowing full recoil between each compression. I'm going to do this for two minutes and then switch out. While this is happening, I'm going to have my coworker intubate and connect the ambu back. And give six breaths, 10 breaths a minute, so a breath every six seconds. Keeping watch of my time, been going for about 30 seconds. Let me know what my phone says. We've been recording for about two minutes and 30 seconds. Okay. Now this looks like he'd be a lab puppy. So kind of like round, maybe barrel chested conformation. So I would do the thoracic pump method where I'd go over the widest part of the chest. And you're very serious. You have to laugh for the video a little bit. Okay. All right. So it's been about two minutes. She's going to switch out for me before she's going to listen. There's no okay. heartbeat. Ready? Yeah. Okay. She's going to take over compressions for me, and I'm going to ventilate. So again, we have her ambu bag here connected to our endotracheal tube. Every six seconds, confirm placement by seeing chest wall rise. And then after two minutes of this, we'd repeat, um, keep switching back and forth. Ideally, we'd have a third person, maybe even a fourth, to get some advanced life support measures, like an IV catheter, ready for discharge. Please, um, ready for discharge. an ECG, get some epinephrine and atropine going every other cycle, and tidal, SPO, or, and tidal carbon dioxide, and that's it.